Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to be discussing how you can find out the efficiency of your off-grid inverter and if it matters whether you use a small load, a medium load, or a large load. Will the efficiency change? So let's get started. Okay, as you can see there is a lot of stuff on my table. What I have is my uh, 100 amp Red Odeo uh, Mini, uh, 12 volts. I have a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter from Lee Sky. Uh, you know, I have a clamp meter and I have a, uh, a set of heaters because what I want is I want a consistent draw. And so we're going to be using these to use as steps on how much uh, energy we're, we're going to be uh, using for this test. Uh, what we have is a 200 watt heater, a 500 watt heater, and a 1500 watt heater. And we're going to find the efficiencies of all three of those. And the way we're going to be doing it is by using a kilowatt meter and a clamp meter on this side to, to calculate the efficiency of our inverter. So the first thing is you need to have a battery and an inverter. I don't have any fuses. I don't have any shunts, anything like that between the two because this is just a test. You should always have a fuse between these two. But I really want to find out this, the efficiency on how and how you calculate it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and wire up your inverter and just turn it on. Okay, my inverter shows that the, uh, the voltage AC is 122 volts. Uh, it shows the battery voltage is 12.7. I want to make sure that's accurate because I would like to be able to use this display while doing the clamp at the same time. So let's make sure that's accurate. And all we need to do is just take our multimeter Set it to volts, set it to DC volts, and, and use our two probes on the battery. And it shows 12.67. So 12.7 is close enough. So we're gonna go ahead and use this voltage as a reference. And let's go ahead and unplug this. And we're going to go ahead and use the clamp meter. Let's clear it out. On here. Okay, and you can see that this is actually pulling just by being on. It's pulling almost an amp, 0.96. So if you put 0.96 times the voltage, which is 12.7, you're getting 12.19 watts of electricity. So this thing's using a little over 12 watts just by being on. So that's like what, 1% of this battery? So it's drawing 1% of this battery every hour. Now that we know what the DC side is, we can all, because all we're gonna be doing is multiplying our amperage by our voltage. And then we're gonna be comparing it to our kilowatt meter right here, which is going to be showing the wattage of the output on the AC side. So first we'll go ahead and start with a 200 watt heater. And these heaters take a little bit to heat up, so we're gonna let it run for about 30 seconds before we take our measurements. All right, so we're plugging it into here. It's already on, so let's let it warm up for 30 seconds. or until the wattage on the kilowatt meter stabilizes. Okay, so it looks like this has stabilized at 191 watts of electricity on the AC side. So let's go ahead and figure out what our DC side is. We're gonna take this voltage right here, which is 12.3, 12.3, and we're gonna multiply it by the amperage, which is 18.44. We'll just say that, 18.44. And that equals uh, 226.81 watts of electricity coming out of the battery on the DC side. So we'll just, say, we'll just say 227 watts to make it easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the AC side, which is now 193, and we're gonna say, 193 divided by 227 
equals. And that makes it so on a 200 watt heater, we're getting 85% efficiency from this inverter. Okay, so next let's go ahead and do the 500 watt heater. Okay, now I have my 500 watt heater plugged in. So let's go ahead and turn it on, let it warm up. Okay, now that this heater is fully heated up, it looks like it's using 527 watts of electricity on the AC side. So, and our, uh, our battery is at 11.3. So let's go ahead and push in 11.3 and multiply it by the amount of amperage coming from the battery, which is 52 amps. So times 52, that equals 587.6 watts. So we'll just say, we're just gonna round up and say 588. So let's clear that. And we're gonna take 528 divided by 588. And that equals 89.7, so almost a 90% efficiency with a larger load. So let's go ahead and do the 1500 watt heater now. All right, now that we tested the efficiency of a 200 watt load and a 500 watt load, let's go ahead and boost it up to a 1500 watt load. Um, and you knew before that uh, with the 200 watt load, we got an 85% efficiency. And with a 500 watt load, we got a 90% efficiency. So let's see where this one calculates at. Okay, our ammeter is set. Uh, as you can tell, the voltage of the battery is now 13.3 because this is going to be a pretty big load for this one battery. So I wanted to make sure it had plenty of juice to be able to pull it off. So let's go ahead and put this heater on high. Uh, the, the heater is rated, uh, it says on the bottom, for 1500 watts. But from my testing, it would not get up to 1500 watts on the kilowatt meter. So we'll uh, go ahead and try it out and we'll see what the results are. Turning on the heater on high. The fan on the inverter automatically kicks on because it goes over 900 watts, I think. And the battery is instantly reduced down to 12.1 volts because of the high load. All right, we're gonna let this heater run for a little bit to get it so it stabilizes. All right, and actually it's looking pretty good. It's, it's, uh, the AC side is running at 1430 watts. So let's see our amperage. We're at 12 volts on the, uh, on the inverter. So let's go ahead and type in 12 times. And the amperage is 135.5. 135.5. And that equals 1626 watts. Now, this, is, this says 1430. So we're gonna do 1430 divided by 1626. And that equals 87.9, so 88% efficiency. Which for a 75% uh, a load on this inverter, that's pretty good. Okay, well, there you have it. Uh, that is how you test the efficiency of your off-grid inverter. Um, all you have to do is check the DC side, the amps and the volts to get that wattage. And then you find the wattage on the AC side using, uh, you know, it's something like a kilowatt meter and you just divide them to find the percentage of efficiency. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.